Don't party too hard, but don't study too hard. That is terrible advice. No, no the like, last part. No, 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 like. It's Cameron, also known as Cami Arby, and today I'm back with another video, and it's gonna be just like freshman advice for incoming freshmen as we're getting ready to be done with our first year at Howard University. So I had someone reach out to me on TikTok, and I was actually thinking about doing this video for a long time. So let's get into the video. I have some questions on my iPad, so if I'm looking down. I'm looking at questions. She's looking now. I don't know what she's doing. But, um, okay. So, at Howard, we all have Howard intros that's instilled in us when we get here. So, I didn't introduce them yet because I just wanted it to kind of like flow. So, I'll go first. Hi, everyone. I'm Cameron Monroe, a freshman marketing major from Windsor, Connecticut. Hey, everyone. I'm Shariah, a freshman criminology major from Philadelphia, PA. Hey, hello y'all. My name is Tan Shay. I'm a freshman here at Howard. Um, I'm a health science major and I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Cool, cool. So this is my roommate. This is her friend. Don't ask no questions. <laughs> okay. So the first question we have is roommate advice and how to find one. So I guess I'll go first. So for me, I'll talk about how to find one. So I don't know, I kind of found my roommate in the patio group chat, which is like a group chat for college students. You like select your school and there's like a list of different group chats that you can join within the app. So there was like a roommate group chat and I kind of found my roommate through there. And yeah, how'd you like find your roommate? Um, I found my roommate on Instagram and she messaged me. <laughs> And was like, we should be roommates. And I was like, okay. And then, yeah. Me, I'm gonna just tell y'all now. It's like, now I found, um, I found my roommate because we were from the same city and we were already friends before we came. So, yeah, it just worked out. Okay, so on advice about roommates, I should see this is a different roommate. <laughs> <laughs> this is a different roommate than I had for a semester. I would just say, honestly, get to know, like, who you're rooming with like you're gonna be rooming with this person for nine months so you want to actually know who you're rooming with so don't just be like oh my god yes like you're pretty i'm pretty let's be roommates no like you need to see like what time do you wake up um what type of person like are you clean um what else i don't know just like ask questions to get to know yeah. the person don't just jump into something just because like you think it's cool or the person's cool and i'll say something too um if y'all are friends before, um, really know how your roommate is because I know with me, I thought that since we were friends, it was going to be great. Like, get to know your roommate. Um, sometimes rooming with your friends is not always the best thing. Don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. Um, mm -hmm. Rooming with your friends, it breaks apart friendships and sometimes privacy things. It just, <laughs> don't do it, okay? <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> My advice. Like she said, like just because somebody pretty or like they got Instagram followers or you know, they might display stuff on social media, like really get to know somebody because person can have all these all these followers and be the dirtiest person ever or like mm -hmm. had the stinkiest attitude. Now we had a little not really hiccups, but I haven't really argued with this child, but we I don't know. I don't have no big problems for her. this girl shouldn't live in my room. <laughs> <laughs> Room, but all my life she be starting. <laughs> she be touching. <laughs> <Everybody be touching. laughs> but no, for real, like not to bash anybody, but this is just all real stuff that I wish somebody told me mm -hmm. before coming here. So really, get to know the person. Ask like questions you might think are crazy. Like I don't know, ask somebody what time you wake up in the morning it might sound crazy, but that's really like beneficial because say they they're gonna get aliens and you're just not a morning person, you don't like to hear alarms going off in the morning then that's gonna bother you if it's gonna bother you then maybe you need to reevaluate who you're gonna room with and stuff like that mm -hmm. so moving on to what dorm do you live in so we all live in chn college hall north you guys like it in here um, um i'll say i well the first semester i did not like it because the water problem we had a situation where we had cold water cold water and i'm just now getting it like together now so now it's okay 
I don't know. I never, like, my room always had hot water. Like, it was never, like, ice cold. So people would always come here and take showers. Um, I wish I would have you did. Right. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but then they had to come in, like, fix everybody's, like, pipes, I guess. So during that time, it wasn't the hottest. But I never had, never had super cold water. Um, I like the dorm. It's like in the middle of everything. It's close to like the other dorms besides towers. It's like hallway, and you know. But it's still like walking. Yeah, Drew. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> see, it's, it's y'all don't know where Drew is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Not me. <laughs> oh baby, hold on. I ain't never had to go to no drip. I only stood outside for other people. Don't play. Oh, my fault. I didn't. We got Ennis right there. That's not really like the best cafeteria. The best one is Lickering, but you know, like I get down with Ennis. I don't know. But you know, people always shaming Ennis. But I'm saying, like, you want quick, quick grub with your friends? Like it's right there. You know? And that's what I like too. Like, if I'm hungry, you don't have to walk all the way to Blackburn. Like, just go outside, go to the cafe. I also like that. Our dorm has our own bathroom. It's not communal, so mm -hmm. you and your roommate have a bathroom in a sink that y'all share and maintain. People um, in quad, they, I don't know, some of my friends said they like quad better because people come and clean it, but I don't have a problem with cleaning my own bathroom and only sharing it with one person. So I like CHM. We have, we can get in our room with like our phone. Like it's, it's mm -hmm. high tech, y'all. Our ice machine work. If you guys are wondering where to run, if you're, you're a girl, girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and it's girls only, so I don't know. Some people might want co ed. So. Yeah, we have co ed. Annex and CHS is the co ed dorm. Annex, I think that's more of a like social dorm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people stay in Annex. CHN is like, yeah, CHN is going to lock. Yeah. Um, I mean, it has its pros and cons. Like, I don't ever feel as though, like, I feel comfortable in here. Like, I know somebody at the front desk at mm -hmm. all times. Annex. Do they have a, they have roommates, right? Um, or sweet mates. That's yeah, it's like sweet mates. Mm -hmm. So it might be like Sometimes three like a single yeah. and one sweet type thing. And then y'all share a bathroom. Then we have CHS, which is basically CHN, but co-ed. And it's usually for upperclassmen, but we had a lot of people, a lot of freshmen this year. So it's freshmen and upperclassmen. Then towers is down the way. Not that far, but down the way. And that's upperclassmen, co-ed. Kitchen. Kitchen, mm. yeah. So we're trying to stay there next year because we got to yeah. start cooking. I'll be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> then the boys' dorms, Cook and Drew, which is closer to the Blackburn cafeteria. So if you're a boy and you're watching this video, I don't know too much, but like... If y'all want to know, yeah. ask like in the comments and I can reach out to some of my guy friends and ask them like, what's tea over there. But yeah, so that's basically all the dorms. So Drew, Cook, our boys dorm, Towers, East, Towers, West, our upperclassmen and co-ed. Annex and CHN are usually... T oh, CHS are usually upperclassmen dorms, but it's different this year. And then CHN where we say it's all girls and freshmen only. And quad is all girls oh. and freshmen. We didn't talk about quad. We didn't talk about quad. Oh. The communal bathrooms. Oh, yeah, 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 quad, okay. So moving on to the next question. How much to pack? Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> tell y'all now, I overpacked. Okay? I sure did. <laughs> I did. I feel like, no, I feel like, um. so what I did was this year, I um, stacked up on a lot of stuff. So tissues brushes um toothbrushes like all your essentials that you will need like your little toiletries i stacked up on that <laughs> so i don't think i overpacked with that but clothes okay definitely like when i was packing my mom was like cam like you're not gonna need all this stuff. i'm like yes i am like when you okay so another thing about how it's like you think it's like drip or drown every day but you're gonna have your lazy days like you know hoodie howard t Howard hoodie and sweatpants. Like you'll see everybody outside just chilling. But there are your days where you're gonna want to dress up. So I'm thinking like, yeah, I'm gonna dress up every day. I need this, these pants, this blouse, this jacket, these sneakers. Honestly, Crocs, hoodie, sweatpants, high go to class. Like sometimes, sometimes. But to say the least, I did pack a lot of stuff, and I feel like I didn't need to. I would just say clothes-wise, you're gonna need your clothes, mm -hmm. but like 
most of the time your hair is going to be like winter time so like pack like your winter stuff not saying don't bring no summer stuff because when you first get here it's going to be like hot but like it's going to eventually start to get cool and also like stack up on your toilet paper yeah. your paper towel like yeah put that on your trump party registries or oh yo go on yeah. out on your trump party list like people will really like yeah. go crazy for your list like oh my god i'm so proud let me get this 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 like half of the stuff in my room is from my family members and friends and my um friends parents and my teachers because they went on my what's it called Registry. 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 registry and order this stuff for me so advice for packing as well would be to make a registry and you can have people like assist you with getting um necessities for your dorm also i know some people like if you live farther away i had some friends ship stuff to like target shipping or bed bath and beyond oh. yeah bed bath and beyond they have registry and you can ship your stuff to the store and pick up when you get here so that's another way you can do things if you have family family members down here yeah. like oh whatever school you're going to that's make cool sure school. yeah close by make sure that you send your stuff to them it's just gonna be easier like i had to stuff all my stuff into the car for four hours like yeah you don't want to do that <laughs> yeah we had to rent like uh suv and um i think you guys saw like i have a video on my channel y'all see like the car was packed it was just me <laughs> My mom and my dad and then everything in the back was pushed down and stuff was just everywhere. Like it was hot moving in. So if you can ship stuff or give it to a family member to drop your stuff off here, then go pick it up and bring it. That'll be convenient. But also with clothes, you're going to order stuff. Like you're going to go to the mall, you're gonna order stuff. So you don't really need to bring every piece of clothing in your closet. Just don't do it. Cause you're gonna wanna go shopping. So yeah. Yeah, and also um, bring like storage bins. So like mm -hmm. when it do get um, start to get cold outside, you can put your summer stuff um, in a bin rather than leaving it in your closet because closet space is not that big. So yeah, yeah, some storage bins and you'll be fine. So advice for moving day. <laughs> well, I was late moving in, so I didn't have to deal with oh, all of that, but. Um, I would just, like I said, like put stuff in storage bins so you can stack stuff on top of each other. Don't have like little bags, like, you know, when you go to Target, don't leave stuff in the bag. Mm -hmm. Like pack it in bins so you could like bring everything up. And time. then like as far as the bins, I repurposed my bins. So like bins that I brought sneakers in or say I brought a bin of clothes. I use it for like my snack bin so like there's no food on the floor or anything so you can like repurpose your bins i have bins on top of my dresses for extra clothes for extra storage space so a big thing would be to bring storage bins and caddies to kind of have extra space in your room if you are bringing like a lot of stuff with you moving day kind my mom she made me pack everything in the in the order that i was going to put it away so like I don't know, like pants would be together, then clothes would be together. So if we came in, we just, you know, okay, this won't be the pants store and put everything in there. So you can do stuff like that. So for me, um, on moving day, I'm going to say first, get here before, um, like get here a little bit earlier Early. because the lines are crazy. Like oh. it's extra. And then like, if you're, depending on what building you stay in, because I know the building I stayed in, it was like the elevators it was it was a lot like there was a lot going on it's going to be extra you're going to be you're going to have a lot of emotions going on yeah. so i'm just going to let you know that now um with me i was a little unorganized because i had a big bin of clothes and then i had a whole bunch of little stuff around it like everything i was going to decorate my room with so i'm just going to let you now know now like um maybe put it in the storage bins like Shariah said because doing all the little extra things you're going to be making 20 trips and that's what i had to do 20 trips yeah and then as far as just like attitudes like just have a good attitude when you come in for a moving day because you're going to get tried like you're going to get you're going to be looking like i don't like them <laughs> already um but also keep in mind like everybody's like it's a busy day everybody's frustrated everybody irritated so just kind of get here early so you can kind of get yourself situated do what you have to do then get out so your roommate can do her side or his side so that everybody just gets you know some space to unpack and unwind so just try to get here early have a positive attitude and then just be like smart and organized in the way that you bring i'm sorry okay <laughs> um just try to be like intentional with the way that you're packing your stuff 
The next question is, do you get homesick? Not me. I look like a train <laughs> ride away, but um, when I first moved in, it was kind of sad because I, you know, everybody's relationship with their family is different. Mm -hmm. I'm really close with my family. At first, you're gonna, like, you're gonna miss your family. Even if they get on your nerves or, you know, y'all might bump heads, like, you're gonna miss them because you're in a new environment, they're not there, you're around people who you don't know, like, really. So, the honest answer is yes, you're gonna get homesick, but you're gonna come across, you know, a lot of different people, and it's gonna be a lot of events, especially, like, during freshman. Especially. <laughs> Especially during freshman week, and yeah, you'll probably forget about them in like two weeks, and you'll be okay. For me, I miss home so much. <laughs> I'm the only child, so it's so hard whenever I leave my mom. Like, I did not leave my mom. I might have like went on trips and left for like a week, but leaving my mom for months, like, yes, I miss my mom. At that time, like, when I first had came out here, I was going home, like, every other month, like, every other month, every other week. So, yeah, you're going to miss your uh, family um, a lot. I would just say, like, bring stuff from home that make, remind you of them, FaceTime them, um, you know, call them, just tell them how your days are going. Um, but after a while, with them parties and classes, I'm telling you, you won't forget about them. Oh my God. <laughs> when I first came here, like, I was excited. I was like, I'm just call y'all. Like, I ain't gonna miss y'all. I'm gonna just call y'all. But the moment it, it was 8 o'clock, I had to bring in a TV. I had to bring in, like, heavy stuff. And CHM was like, no more parents. I was like, huh? And right there, I just broke down because I was like, oh my God, like, I'm really in college, like I'm really in this by myself. Like, wow. Not myself, but like my parents aren't here to help me anymore. So that really did it for me. And I was like, wow, like I'm grown now. So I don't know. I don't say, I, well, I do get homesick. I buy like flights and my mom be like, why are you coming home again? Like you were just here. I might miss me. She's like, I just saw you or I just talked to you yesterday. I'm like, okay, girl, well, I'm here. So you are gonna get homesick. But it's okay, like you're surrounded by people who you'll build relationships with and like bond with. So you're not gonna be lonely, but you are gonna miss home. So I don't know. I'm I, I feel like, like on a bad note, but like. No, not on a bad note, but I feel like everybody's going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. So it's like. Yeah. So it's like y'all can relate. Yeah, y'all can relate. Like everybody's missing their family. Yeah, we all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, telling you, I'm at the parties. I'm at the parties. Y'all's not gonna remember none of that, like. Oh my goodness. Sometimes my mom, she's. See, y'all have They don't even know what Benneker is. They gonna know. Y'all gonna know. Y'all come here. <laughs> y'all gonna be like, oh. Sorry, not quick. Right. Things to know about Howard. That's such a broad question. I would, I'm gonna tell y'all now. I wanna just let y'all. It's not like a bad thing. I don't wanna say it like in a bad way. Howard has its ups and downs it's going to have its ups and downs but every hbcu in america has its ups and downs every college period, period. Yeah, like so don't period. come here and think like oh this happened i'm i'm going to leave i'm leaving yeah, yeah. like it's, it's going to happen everywhere okay here's something to know about howard they're gonna get the runaround, like you. Oh yeah, Howard runaround. You're gonna get the Howard runaround. I'm like, no, I got it. I'm not gonna get the Howard runaround. I'm trying to think of an example. Yeah, nobody answers the phone here. Like you yeah, literally you have, to have to get to up go and go to that them. building, and, like calling and emailing. That's not gonna work. They like, might send you to a different building, but yeah. I was Howard gonna use the example from when we first got here, and was it Bison where people were struggling to get into? It was something we need. I think I was struggling with bison web. Like I couldn't get into bison web or something. Everything was down. Like the servers were down and it was like the day before class. And I'm running around trying, I went to iLab. They were like, you need to go to UGL. And I don't know what UGL is. It's like, why would y'all send me to UGL? But anyways, <laughs> they were like, you need to go to UGL. And UGL was like, no, you need to go to iLab. So I go back to iLab and they're like, well, you need to go to somebody. So you're just running back and forth and you just get, Real tired, like real, real irritated. Like, real which one is it? Father, like who am I supposed to get help from? But the lady I ended up talking to, basically, it put things in perspective for me. Like everybody's going through the same things. Like if you're running around, find somebody else who has the same issue and like work together. Like <laughs> and basically, what she told me was, 
we're all going through the same struggle i can't help you basically <laughs> that's what she told me and it was just like she's right like we really all can't get into spice mode. like i just might as well just wait so sometimes you really do just have to be patient but but that's the week that we didn't end up having classes yeah that whole week yeah we didn't end up having classes like, so for things like that what right, right. <laughs> like siri just has a mind but for things like that, don't stress about it. Like sometimes, sometimes you just have to let stuff go and, and just wait it out and be patient. But for things that you need um, to further your success, go find the answer. Like just because someone tells you no, someone else will tell you yes, or someone else will be able to help you. So don't let someone tell you, oh, I don't know the answer, or I can't help you. Don't let that make you just be like, okay, well, nobody can help me. Go find the answer because somebody has the answer. See if somebody does. Oh, um, what's that called? Um, I keep having mind blur as soon as I call it. I got one. Uh, <laughs> Soul Food Thursday. Oh, lit. Sign off with <laughs> all HBCUs that soul food. For real? Food, like a soul food day. I got Park Atlanta got fried chicken wings. Oh, oh, we don't have a fried chicken wings. Yeah, we don't. But we got Soul Food Thursdays and Blackburn Soul Food Thursdays. I don't know. My preference is Blackburn Soul Food over yeah. Yeah. You don't think so? When I went there the last week, their mac and cheese was good. And their um, mm -hmm. their fries and their fish. Fries yeah, their fish. Good. Their fish was good. You can't get mad at your college experience if your college experience isn't like what you thought it was. Yeah. And all you do is stay indoors. Correct. I was one of them. Um, fall one semester, one. I didn't have no friends, so I would just stay in my dorm, and then I'd be like, "Oh, I hate Howard. Like, there's nothing to do here. It's so boring." But now that I have friends, and you know, I go to events, like I'm enjoying my time here so it's what you make it right like, if you stay in the dorm you're gonna be bored and you're yeah. gonna be miserable and you're gonna cry but <laughs> if you get involved and make friends and mm. try new things you're gonna be like i'm having the best time of my life and it goes by so quick oh uh, yeah trying new things howard got a lot of stuff to um, a lot. offer yeah. so trying new things get into different organizations i need to i'm sitting here giving y'all advice <laughs> i need to it's cool next year yeah, but next sometimes year, like, we don't know stuff you can give advice because you like would have wished yeah i wish i wish i would have gotten to more um organizations and got more active but it's never too late yeah. yeah it's never too late yeah there's a lot of things that have that you can get involved in that will actually like benefit your development here at the mecca so basically what's know about howard is we said the howard runaround is real it's definitely real um get involved howard college is what you make it and what was yours I didn't say nothing to me. We forgot, but yeah. um, rewind if you want. Oh, well, too bad. <laughs> Our next question is how? Oh, we kind of talked about, well, not really. How to find friends? How do you How did you find your friends? Like, I was friends with my roommate when I got here. So she, like, basically introduced me to some people because I was really, I'm really, like, not social. So, like, once I started to get more comfortable, comfortable with everybody, I started to make more friends. <laughs> I love you. You're my friend. <laughs> Anyways, you can find friends by social media, all types of stuff. You agree? Um, Y'all agree? <laughs> sure. Yeah, I met all my friends on Instagram. <laughs> They like, you know, it's like you hang out with different type of people. Like, especially like as a freshman, like as you go on, you're going to realize like who your real friends are and who's like, you know, just friends you'll go out, you'll go out with or, you know, Praise. so like just get the <laughs> praise, <laughs> praise is crazy. <laughs> get to know different types of people don't come in with a snobby attitude Correct. trying to be rude like actually be open to get to know people and you'll be just fine it's if you walk nice. up to somebody here and be like oh hey girl like they're they will speak back to you like, right they're not rude here like honestly and half the time people just be minding their business like somebody like, oh my god she's so rude but half the time i just have my headphones in like i just you know, so just hi. <laughs> hey, See, I'm not as social as them, so it's like whenever I'm not social either. Okay, <laughs> we're all not social, but I'm really not like really, really not social. They'll speak to somebody before I speak to somebody. So, sure. Is that not true? No. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we. No, touch is kind of. Oh, I'm not. I'm sorry. 
too. I'm more She's on real shy. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm very, very shy. So, like, it's I, I'm not saying I, everybody says I'm awkward, awkward when I first meet them. So it's like, don't be awkward. Just like for let example, your personality shine. I come into my room and I see this girl sitting in here, <laughs> and I'm just like, who is this girl? <laughs> because Shariah, like Shariah, I don't know. She never really had like people in the room before. So I came one day and I was just like, who is this? <laughs> and and Tasha just saying like. And I'm just like, okay. Like, that's, but that's what I did with her whenever she came in the room. Yeah. She, I think she spoke to me and I was just like, hey. Like, it's real weird like, with Tasha. <laughs> <laughs> but once, I feel like that's for everybody. But once you get to know somebody, like, who they Just are, get past then, the awkward stage. Yeah. Like, just get that off the window. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Where's the shop? Tyson's Corner and the other one is... Pentagon City. Yeah, Pentagon City. Mm -hmm. Pentagon. Fashion Center. Something like that. Fashion Center at Pentagon City. Or in something Georgetown. Like that. They got oh, yeah, they shops. have little flea markets and shops in Georgetown. Mm -hmm. So there's things around. There's Target. Mm -hmm. If you need some, like, quick. I don't know. Target. <laughs> you, you go on Target for one thing, you come out with a whole cart of stuff, and you're like, how am I getting this in the Uber? How am I getting this in wherever to bring it to school? But there's Giant for the grocery store. Mm hmm. We have a Whole Foods right down the street. Whole, oh yeah, I used to go to Whole Foods a lot before, like I figured out other um, places to shop at. Oh, Walmart. Walmart too. So we have a Walmart like up, not up the street, but like black people like, up the street, yeah. like ten minutes you away, know, but up the street. Like, <laughs> and then there's there's a couple like around here, but yeah, we have a Walmart. Yeah, so there's things and like. You'll just, I don't know, you'll just find new places and you'll be like, oh. And there's a lot of um student businesses that yes. you can support that um has like clothes, yeah, clothes. pants, um, sweatsuits, stuff like that. So, Maybe on the yard, a little mm -hmm. pop-up shop and stuff. So. The next one is where to eat. Where about to eat at? Um, uh... Ben's next door. That's a good place to eat. Ben's Chili Bowl. Ben's Chili Bowl is right next to Ben's next door. Get it? Ben's next door next to Ben's Chili Bowl. Right. I wish I wish I knew the name of this like taco place. It's on U Street, but uh, it's it's like a club after. So after I think I know time. what you're talking about. Yeah, but like before that, you can eat. It's kind of expensive. It's on more like expensive side, not expensive. But, like, U Street, you gonna spend some money. Yeah, you gonna spend mm -hmm. some money on U you Street. Spend I some money here, here. Period. Yeah. yeah. This is Creole on 14th Street. Street. That's that's a vibe. Ooze and ooze, too. Ooze and ooze, y'all. Ooze and ooze. Ooze and make me want to ooze and like, ah, like, you know. It's so food. Um, it's really good. Really good. I went to this other place the other day. I think it was called Honey Honeymoon Kitchen. I'm probably saying it wrong. She was so hyped that. and so wrong. It's Yard. called Yard House, y'all. Yard No, no, like there's a place it's called the Yard. Um, it's I good. heard Yardbird was good too. But like, that's right. like, oh yeah, the place is called Honeymoon Chicken. I was looking at my TikTok and I mean, yeah, Honeymoon Chicken, inexpensive. It's like I think I got like a hot honey chicken sandwich and fries, and maybe it was like fifteen dollars, something like that. It was really good. Um, what's that wing place on your street that you ordered from? America's best wing stop. America's best wing stop on your street. I like their wings. They deliver, mm -hmm. and it's not that far. Okay, when I say not that far, it's like a 15-minute walk. Yeah, but when you get here, 30-minute walk, 15, like, are nothing. Like, after you start walking. Yeah, once some Uber tabs start um, yeah. piling up, you want me like, I'm never taking Uber. an Uber again. <laughs> yeah, I'm never taking an Uber again. Uh, what about the spot? On campus, we have a McDonald's, a Chipotle, a Subway, Chipotle. a Grill. That's Jamaican food. Oh, diversify the food truck. When mm -hmm. you're hungry, it's 2 a.m. and you just Mm -hmm. Jerk at night, another yeah, restaurant to try. Yeah, <laughs> so if you guys want to go and try Jerk at night, try that and let me know how y'all like it. Um, Subway, did you say that? Yeah. Subway. Starbucks. Oh yeah. Um, so there's a lot. I don't know. Like, there's a lot of restaurants in DC. People love brunch in DC. I haven't really I have been, been to it. brunch I like brunch. in a restaurant out here. Oh. No, it wasn't brunch. But another restaurant, Carolina's Kitchen. Their food, real good. So food, cool. another so food spot. The next question is how to navigate DC like in terms of transportation. Ah, uh, maps. Um, so the metro, 
got the Metro, you got Ubers. Um, sometimes I would use Empire, but a lot of people don't, like use don't pay, don't uh uh, but it's what? don't get Empire. The app that's um, it's like Uber, right? Yeah, yeah, no, and it's cheap and they be <laughs> driving crazy. Do not Matt get never drove crazy. <laughs> no, I heard bad stuff <laughs> about Empire, y'all. Just get to, get in the Uber. I feel like with a get group. in the lift. No, with a group. Yeah, no. we have done it with a group because it's like the groups would be like sixty dollars. Huh? Yeah. I, I don't no, know. I'm saying like we don't know about the empire <laughs> stuff. Baby, look at the Yeah, do your research. But Uber, Lyft, the Metro, gifts that God gave you. Hallelujah, them two mm. legs. <laughs> um, scooters are oh, fun, yeah, but fine. the price on those like um rack up real fast, like quickly. So do that. Make sure that you much. I mean, you just have to go on time. You look at the things you're going to see. So like, just like be mindful that the scooters are adding up like mm -hmm. as you're on them so yeah it's not too expensive but like if you want it for a long time you look at it you say oh my gosh where did i go and you just have a good old time and forget that you gotta pay for scooter but scooters bikes that y'all can get on oh we got a shuttle a there is shuttle. a shuttle i've never been on it but Me either but y'all could try that mm -hmm. it takes you to like target like it if you go online um there's like different stops that you could put there <laughs> There's different stops, and you can see like where the shuttle will take you. It's convenient, I guess. I've never been on. I've been it. on the shuttle. Some people it take fun. it. Yeah, it wasn't like. It depends with like when do what time you go. Some people take the shuttle like from SOB back to THM when it's raining. I know people from Towers take the shuttle. It's not that far from campus. Players. Like Towers is not far, but. The it's hill will the hill yeah, will walk get you. crazy. So <laughs> I will probably be utilizing the shuttle next semester. Yeah, we Them definitely hills will. Are a little crazy, absurd. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. hits me every time. <laughs> That's another piece of advice. Before you come here, start pedaling on the bike, set, and get them cast prepared. Cause these hills different. You gonna be mad at the road. <laughs> Any other advice for the future baby bison? For the girls. Please, please don't embarrass yourself Look. over these Howard men. Okay. <laughs> and that's just me being honest. Um, the female to home. male ratio, babe, like, come on. Just, everybody talking to everybody. <laughs> just like, when you come to Howard, just have fun. Like, yeah, don't be too, I, like, caught up in stressing yourself out. And that's for any school. Stay like, on top of your work. Mm -hmm. If you in nursing, if you in any type of any, any major, major <laughs> any major, stay away from the men. Like, just stay on top of your schoolwork. Like, you're here to get a degree. Like, yeah, partying is fun, partying is cool, but in the mm -hmm. day, partying is not going to get you that A, or partying is not going to get you that degree. So, stay on top of your A game and do your work, but still have fun. Like, don't be in your room all the time. Like. Balance it out. Like, yeah, balance. make sure you balance, you have a balanced life. Room. The syllabi are your best friend. It's your cheat sheet, honestly. You can know everything you have to do for the year if you just pay attention to your agenda. Like, it's going to tell you, test on this day. Like, it goes as far yeah. as to the exam. So, you can kind of plan ahead. And I wish I did better with that in terms of, like, writing down when this is due, writing down when this test is. So, just pay attention and, like, use... Use your resources. Like, you literally have everything in front of you on, of how the year is going to go. So, like, get to know your professors mm -hmm. a little bit. Like, go to their office hours. Like, make sure they know you. I wish like, y'all don't have to be the best of friends, but like, make sure they know your name. Yeah. You're going to need recommendations. So, you got to get to know. Like, nobody's going to just be like, y'all write you a recommendation. Like, it's not going to be personal because they don't know you. So, take the time to actually meet the professors. And they actually know a lot. Like, they, some professors are really cool. Like, they've done cool things you wouldn't know if you didn't make the effort to introduce yourself and get to know them a little bit. So, sometimes that relationship is gonna help you. Like, if you need help in the class, crying will take you a long way. Like, go to the professor and be like, I need help. Like, put that money to use. You're paying for education, so you might as well. Go to their office hours, get that extra help. At Shariah Q, like, yeah, it'll okay. be, I don't know, it'll be somewhere on the screen um, or in the description. And I also have a hair page that yes. I'll be doing here next semester so you could come get slayed by Nuwa. One you thing about it, it, you see it, Howard Hustler, 
are gonna get the money by any means necessary. Hey y'all, so I was going through and editing the video and I noticed that it kinda cut out. So I wanted to come on and do an outro. And just let y'all know that I am super proud of you all for finishing high school and getting ready to enter college or start a new journey. And with that being said, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram or comment below and I'll be sure to respond to you. And thanks for tuning in and make sure y'all catch the next video. Bye y'all.